Hey guys, today I have a demo of a new service called Mspot. Mspot lets you upload your songs via app uh, from your iTunes to their web player. So you can listen to your music anywhere uh, just by going to their website, mspot.com. So first thing you're going to want to do when you go to the website is, down is download Mspot, which is the app which lets you upload your songs from, from from your computer, Mac or Windows, to their web player, so you can listen to them anywhere. So once you download Mspot, you're going to want to install it and then create your account. By, after you create your account, you're going to want to open up the app, which my, mine is already open right here in the menu bar. It's going to run in the background in Windows also. Uh, so right uh, right now I already have my all of my songs synced and uploaded to the website. So as, after you upload them, it's gonna take a while. That depends on your upload speeds. You're gonna want to log in into the website. You're gonna want to sign in. So you're gonna be redirected to the to the music player, which is beautiful, uh, really well designed. So you have all your songs right here. Just click them, and you're just gonna start playing. I took off the sound from my computer, so I won't get um, so because of copyright. So re uh, let's see, let's put um, just uh, some song here. At 17 from Kings of Leon, so it's gonna start playing right here. So you get your artwork, the artist, the album, all all the things you have, all the stuff you have on iTunes. So it's really organized. Here you get your music uh, music controls. You get shuffle, replay, uh, previous, next, pause and play, and the and also the uh, the volume control. So you can go to next. So be somebody. Kings of Leon again. And also one thing that's really cool. You can add lyrics. So right here, you have all the, of all of the uh, all of the lyrics for the song. So that's really cool. So you can sing along. So just hit back. And you got all your songs again. So that's basically M spot. So you get two gigabytes free. And I thought, well, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be able to upload like a hundred songs of mine. But it actually converts to uh, to another bit rate. So as you can see, it's one point one point four gigabytes of two gigabytes. And actually, on my iTunes, I have six point thirty five um, gigabytes of music. So it actually converts to a to a bit rate, so the songs will be will be converted to to another size, um, to a smaller size. So you can get more storage, of course. So plan of two gigabytes free, ten gigabytes two ninety nine a month, twenty four ninety nine a month, fifty. Nine ninety nine a month, a hundred thirteen point nine nine a month. So I I guess to go by with it, most of most of people, I actually um I'm planning on upgrading to ten gigabytes, but I don't know if I'm going to if I really need to. But two gigabytes I think is gonna fit most of the people. So now let's get to the pros and cons. So pro is you upload your songs via app. You rec uh, it recognizes iTunes songs and upload their names, slash artworks, and all of that. It has a well-designed web player, no lags. I haven't experienced any lags right now. Oh, you can see our lyrics, and also one really cool thing is that they have uh, an Android app, and you also can create playlists. It also uploads your playlist from iTunes, and it's cross-platform, not really cross-platform cross platform it doesn't run on Linux but they're probably uh, working on that so it's Windows and Mac only right now 
and guns. It's not really a gun. You can download the songs, which I, I understand, because there'll be actually piracy if you consider it like that, because you, you know, go to a friend's house, enter an M spot, and he, ha and he can download all, all of your songs without paying, so that's not really good. And it doesn't have an iPhone app, which I think they should, and they're probably also working on it. But it also, yeah, it has an Android app, which is really good. I tried um, going into Safari on my iPhone, and it doesn't work. And also, it only works with iTunes. But most of people use iTunes, but it won't, it won't, it won't work with another media player. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm really enjoying the service. It's really good. Also, it's free for two gigabytes, which will fit most people. Um, the sound, the sound quality is um, it's really good. You're only noticing some uh, lack of quality if you have really good speakers or really good earphones slash headphones or earbuds, whatever. Um, so it's really good. I'm really enjoying the service. Uh, I think you guys should check it out. If you don't like it, you know, it's free. You're not going to lose anything. So thanks for watching and see you guys later. Bye.